Welcome back to the channel. Perhaps, hands down, my favorite recurring theme every 30 days is getting the opportunity to show you what is in the latest battle box. This is Mission 28, Urban Survival. If you're new to my channel, you're just running across this, and you're wondering what is a battle box. Well, a battle box is a uh, monthly subscription based box of goodies. Could be tactical gear, EDC gear, survival gear, urban survival gear. And they have uh, they have four uh, different levels. You can uh, spend as little as uh, twenty five dollars a month. Or you can step all the way up to the uh, Pro Plus and spend $150 a month. If you do follow me, uh, you know the one thing I continuously say is the best value you could possibly get from BattleBox is the Pro Plus. Uh, the, the Pro Plus level is always some kind of a badass high-end knife. And that knife alone usually puts the cost of the whole box at what you would normally pay for that that one knife this particular month it's a little bit different it's not a knife let's start with uh, the basic kit the first thing in the basic is the Kershaw shuffle folding knife yeah. I actually uh, have been uh, using one of these for uh, for quite a while my uh, good friend uh, Tom gave me this one so what I can tell you about this is it's a nice size a uh, knife just to throw in your uh, pants pocket. Like with all Kershaws, you're getting an extremely sharp knife right out of the box. It has a uh, lanyard hole on the back, or it could possibly be used as some kind of a striking tool. Uh, pocket clip, and bottle opener. This one gets used a lot at my other channel as a bottle opener. So that is the Kershaw Shuffle. Next is a four-way Silcock wrench and you may say to yourself what is that? Well uh, if you're ever outside of a commercial building, uh, apartment complex, condo complex, that kind of thing, you'll notice like a steel box on the side of the building. This key opens up those boxes and inside of that box is going to be a water spigot, usually for, you know, their, for their watering the lawn or whatever. They lock that up, they don't want to just give away their water, but in an emergency situation, I'm sorry, all bets are off. You're going to do what you need to do for survival. And this one has uh, the four different sizes that you're more than likely going to run across. Good thing to keep in a bug out bag or your survival urban bug out bag. Next up is the Timberline EDC pocket tool.
comes with a basically a pocket protector put some keys on there if you want inside it has a few different features you have uh, a sharp uh, like knife for cutting screwdriver flat screwdriver another bottle opener uh, like a seat belt cutting tool paracord cutting tool uh, an O2 uh, wrench again you can put some uh, paracord or something on that and uh, throw it directly into a bug out bag or as you see like you said you could like I said you could just throw this directly in your pocket without the uh, fear of uh, cutting yourself up the Readyman Lock Blocker Access Denial Kit. Now what this is, this is a, a set. As you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sets in here. And this is uh, designed to uh, be inserted into a lock, a paddle lock, and uh, it will it will render the lock uh, useless. It would be blocked when someone goes to put the key in there. It will not work. Or should I say when someone tries to pick it or whatever. And then the other half of the kit is the uh, re retrieval tool so that you can enabled the lock to be used again. If you ever run across a scenario uh, for something like this, you have it with you. Uh, just like uh, just like Battlebox, uh, they were uh, they were saying in the, in experiment experimenting with this. If you are thinking about using something like this to uh, uh, block one of your own locks or whatever, make sure that you do practice with it because it does take a, a little bit of a, of a skill set to get used to uh, using that and you don't want to do it on you know like say your back door and realize yeah uh oh, oh and say you never master uh, <laughs> getting it uh, uh, your access access back and now you've uh, you've kind of uh, gummed up the, the lock as it would be uh, next. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is I'm coming to you a little bit sooner on this video than normal. I uh, I take a lot of uh, usually I take a considerable more time than uh, everybody else that's just shooting up the videos because I like to take the opportunity to to try a lot of the stuff. This particular kit, it's not like uh, you know, there, there's so much of it is just basically there in the event that you you need it. So, like a case in point. This is a siphon pump. It could be used with uh, water, oil, fuel. They send along uh, different uh, diameter uh, hoses and lengths. And then there's an extra kit with uh, some uh, bushings. And going off of, going off of the uh, air chuck that's in here along with the nozzle, being that it, after all, is a pump. Uh, it's just taking in, in this particular scenario, it's taking in air on this side and pushing air out this side. So you could use this uh, to inflate a tire or a basketball or something, something like that. Being that I don't have a clue as to this moment in time for what scenario I might need this particular item. Uh, you know, once it's used for fuel, you're not going to want to use it for drinking water so on and so forth like that so I have not experimented with it because I want to throw this in my uh, urban survival kit and you don't know if you might need it to try to get some uh, water and then use like some water filtration stuff that I've gotten in previous packs from my uh, battle box so I have not I have not gone and uh, tried this all out just because I don't want to uh, contaminate it with uh, using it to try it on say fuel uh, when you never know the first time I might actually need it for emergency might need to get some some water maybe it's a scenario where you can 
you know you can see water you can't get to water with a cup or whatever but you can lower the hose down to it and pump it to uh, where you need it so another item uh, for the urban survival pack uh, and the second to the last thing and the uh, basic this is all this is all just in the basic and this is such a basic item I have said to myself for years and I have no excuse um, for not but thanks to BattleBox I no longer have to make that comment and this is a, a folding shovel and, and entrenching tool comes with a pouch if you uh, you're in a scenario where you just wanted to have that with you or uh, throw it on for some molly webbing or whatever got the pouch to keep everything in I'm sure you've all seen these uh, there's a reason that the military uh, pretty much uh, hands stuff like this out to uh, to all their guys because you just never know when you might need some of these items so what you get in a if you're just using it as a is it going to use it as a shovel you have the handle nice uh, coarse threads plenty of them uh, good lockup and once you pick the tool or the angle for what you want to use it you just uh, tighten up uh, tighten up the screw and now you have your shovel uh, if you're uh, gonna be maybe doing some digging or uh, some little some cutting on the uh, dirt or whatever again pretty sure that's a not another bottle opener <laughs> but there's so many uh, there's a bunch of different configurations you can do here again loosen it up just enough to turn it now you have a like a large uh, large spade for uh, for pulling trenching pickaxe it feels very well made and again you got the whole thing fitting in a pack this size size of your hand And the last item in the basic is you'll get the Readyman Basic Membership uh, Renewal. $10 value. Now, you would step up to the Advanced. The Advanced will get you everything that you, uh, you get in the basic. Plus, this month, the first thing is the Readyman Grayman Pack. What I really like about this is it gives you the ability to, in this particular case, I can put all of this stuff together in here along with some stuff that I have been saving that I haven't put into a pack or anything yet. It is a backpack. It is a well-made backpack. There is... Our big compartment in the back access from the left and the right. You have side side compartment. You have the front that you can uh, uh, pull it together if you uh, want to cinch it up a little bit more. Strapping on the inside, another big compartment, and you can open it up for full size. The one, the one big plus about something like this is, you know, if you go, uh, you know, start running, running through the neighborhoods, and you're wearing. Uh, something that might look like a, a range bag or whatever you might be drawing attention to yourself where the uh, Readyman uh, you know just 
looks like a regular regular backpack so you're gonna blend in more with whatever uh, scenario you are in very nice pack and uh, next is the An Ontario Knife Company Para Pry uh, this is a, uh, a first release uh, they, uh, Battlebox also sent uh, a section of uh, Paracord so just did a a very fast wrap on this. Uh, what this is is a breacher tool. I suppose if you wanted to take the time uh, you could sharpen this to a blade point but it's basically designed as a pry tool. You can maybe pry open a, a door or pop a, pop a window or just use it to break glass whatever scenario you need some kind of a kind of a prying uh, prying tool Ontario knife company I uh, have a, they have a great great reputation and uh, that is the advanced then you would step up to the pro box and this particular month the pro box has basically two things in it and remember you're going to get everything that's in the basic, the advanced, with the pro, plus the pro item. And in this particular one is the Ontario Knife Company's Quick Access Breacher with uh, micarta scales. And this is also a first release from them. Basically, uh, a bigger, badder version of this guy. A lot easier to grip. Again, a prying tool. Maybe, maybe snap a, a window out. You might be able to successfully bust a, a door open. Pry open a container of some si of some kind. Very well made. feels good in your hand and again you know maybe someone out there just goes you know I don't know where I'd have a scenario uh, uh, with a breacher tool but you know that would be pretty badass as a you know a, a scraper a scraper tip sharpened uh, even it look like they have uh, the same profiles but again if someone really wanted to you could you could put an edge on that And the uh, the Pro Box would be uh, rounded out with the Readyman Premium Membership Renewal. Uh, that is a $20 value. And then that steps us up to the Pro Plus. And like I said, for me, up to this moment in time, everything in the Pro Plus has been just like one badass knife. A little different this month. This month... It's an axe. Off the grid survival axe. This brings you 30 different features. You have uh, the heat treated resharpenable hatchet edge hex sockets let's see going down the line here we got uh, wire twist recess nail puller pry bar box cutter can opener demolition uh, grip teeth Hammer head, we got the claw tool, spanner wrench for uh, hose couplings, which is 
basically that right in there. Gas valve uh, shutoff wrench. Also, <laughs> go figure, a bottle opener. It's a uh, glass filled nylon handle and as you can see there's all sorts of different uh, grip points on it. Uh, the screws to take the, hand, uh, take the handle off uh, if you want to replace the hidden uh, sawzall blade. So basically if you have some preference on a sawzall blade and it would have to be uh, the uh, six inch, six inch or, or less, and that locks up in there. You pop these screws out, and then it, then you can gain access to uh, swapping out the blade when this one uh, this one goes uh, goes dull. Glass breaker. You have the uh, seat belt cutter. And again, it says replaceable blade. Lifetime warranty. So, just a, another item for your bug out bag, your truck bag. They actually, uh, actually have kind of an edge on there. Not really necessary when it comes to a to an axe, but and something I always love to see. Made in the USA. So that there right winds out Mission 28 Urban Survival. There's so many there's so many items in this uh, this month that is just a, a smart thing to always have always have with you. You just you know none of us know exactly what scenario that uh, life might throw at us. You know, need water. Your vehicle just overheated, and uh, you just found a, a building, and maybe it's after hours, and everybody's gone, but the access to their water supply has some kind of a f funky looking wrench that's necessary to gain access to that water. This could be the difference between you getting home and not getting home. The pump. And nobody, especially if you are like where I am and you get a considerable amount of snow every single year, again this could be the difference between trapped uh, out on some uh, some road somewhere in the snow being stuck and being able to get home so there you guys go battle box mission 28 urban survival I'll put all the links and everything down below I have uh, I have to say uh, the boys at battle box are a fantastic group of uh, people to work with and like I said repeatedly that pro plus item usually usually pays for the uh, the rest of the kit uh, not quite as much this particular month uh, they uh, they list this as a uh, on, as ninety dollars but there's a lot of stuff on here that you uh, could possibly need Again, a great thing to throw in a pack because it might be the difference of uh, being able or not being able to get to where you're going. Okay, guys, there'll be links and everything all down below. Again, thank you to uh, BattleBox for putting together another awesome month. Mission 28. Ebomi? out of here.
Oh, <laughs> 